we talk a lot about learning to code. Can you do it online? Can you use an app to do it? We talk about coding boot camps. Uh, but I think if you really want to become a developer, sometimes you have to go to school, but it's expensive. Uh, 42 is a new tuition-free school. And we have the COO, Brittany Beer, here to talk to us about it. Welcome, Brittany. Thank you. So tell us what 42 is. So 42 is a nonprofit tuition-free coding university. Now, I know there's been a lot of uh, different coding camps and different coding institutions that have been throwing around the words uh, tuition free uh, but then there's always a catch at the end saying that okay well once you leave you will uh, be paying us uh, a certain sum of your salary things like that when we say tuition free we actually do mean tuition free here at 42 USA so how are you supported so we are financially founded uh, and funded by Xavier Niel who is a French billionaire and philanthropist who has also funded and founded uh, 42 in Paris, France. That's where it started. That's where it started in July 2013. And you are a 42 graduate. How, yes. how did you get involved with it? So I got involved uh, with 42 in Paris as I was teaching at a computer uh, university. Uh, and when I heard that 42 was opening up, I thought rather than uh, being the English teacher that I was at the computer university, I wanted my turn at being a student and being able to learn at 42. So I applied. So you had actually gotten a, a college degree and you said... In Spanish. <laughs> That, that's that's really good, yeah. Uh, it really prepares you. Exactly, to live in France and study code. <laughs> and, and you wanted to go to graduate school, but you know you'd heard how you didn't want to get yourself in debt. Uh, so you yeah. just started going back to work, and then and then now you've, you found 42. Well, and... yeah, actually, I wanted to go to graduate school, but what happened was I was living in the United States at that time, and my options were very limited here, uh, meaning that in the United States, our tuition is so expensive yeah. that it... Yeah it puts up barriers for individuals to be able to access education. So my options were very limited. It was either quit school or move abroad, which is a very drastic uh, decision that I had to make, but that's what I made. Uh, so when I went to France, it was originally to study for my master's degree, which I did uh, go ahead and complete, and then I found 42. So what's the process of becoming a student at 42? Where do we begin? So we began on our website, 42.us.org. Uh, there we have two uh, logic tests that students will go through and uh, complete. So they are there to test if a student has a programming logical set, state of mind. Uh, not necessarily if they have previous technology skills, if we're not testing for their SAT scores, we're not testing if they have a certain type of diploma, if they fit into a certain category. Uh, what we're just trying to see is do they have a logical state of mind and would they be uh, potentially successful in a program like this? That makes sense. You don't want somebody who, who just doesn't have the base skills needed. But assuming they pass, mm -hmm. then what's the next step? So once they pass, we invite them to a check-in where they would come and they would learn a little bit more about our university. And then we have what's called our PCN. So our PCN is a four-week intensive coding session. PCN. PCN, which means a uh, swimming pool in English. So it's this kind of idea that uh, for four weeks, you are going to be trying out our program. It's, we call it our free trial. Uh, so it's where individuals can come and try out the university for four weeks, see if it's a good fit for them, see if we are a good fit for them. And what do you learn in that first month? And so during that first month, we start off with C language. So we start off with C and the individuals have a series of exercises that they build upon each and every day. Uh, and they continue working until the end of the peace scene. So it's four weeks so seven days a week and oh, typically oh, individuals, you don't get weekends no no oh. weekends that would be too easy <laughs> oh. so typically individuals actually spend 10 to 15 hours a day during the peace scene so it is very intensive wow. but it is wow. to prepare them and to see how well they will cope with uh this kind of environment how well they, will they be able to adapt and will they be able to progress in such an environment that's amazing because I think some like a huge problem with dropout is people who just don't make it through in regular colleges too. They just don't make it through the first. You know they're just not prepared. So that's right. great that you have that. Uh, so there. 
there are no requirements. You don't have to be, you don't have to have a high school degree. You don't have to have a college degree. You don't degree. even have to have a high school degree? No, you do not. Just uh, basically walk in the door and say, I'm here. As long as you're 18. <laughs> After you take the test. If you're, the age is 18, 18. to 30. So yes. you can't do it, Leo. Oh. <laughs> I was looking for a career. Yeah. <laughs> we do have 18 to 30 as our age requirement for the time being. Uh, this has been something that we've been very successful with. My colleagues have been in education since the early 1990s. And for the time commitment that is Makes required sense. to complete yeah. 42, uh, that is one of the uh, entry requirements that yeah. we have. You need the stamina and the ability to work 15 hours a day for seven days a week, mm -hmm. uh, and that's going to be younger people with no life. <laughs> so no, no Pokemon Go allowed. Yeah. No How, mortgages. However, yeah. we do have uh, a new program that we're trying out in Paris uh, for individuals that are over 30 and who have been uh, unemployed for several years. That's currently a project that we're working on with Pôle emploi, oh, which is the idea. French uh, un unemployment agency. You know, in France, the educational system is very rigid. and It's old-fashioned. It's very traditional. Uh, I remember when my daughter was a high school student there, her sister, the family she was staying with, was 16. She wanted to be a doctor. She had to take a test at 16 and enter the medical fac to become a doctor, and that's it. You either make it or you don't at 16, and then you have no choices later. That's the way it works. This is very different. Yes, this is very different, and it's opening up a world of opportunity to individuals idea. that normally wouldn't have such an opportunity. Yeah. Uh, this is providing opportunities to different talents, also individuals who don't necessarily fit into the traditional school system, uh, who feel disengaged by sitting by passively listening to different lectures, sitting in classes. This is this, all hands-on? There are no yes. teachers, right? Talk there a little no, bit about that. Yeah, so there are no teachers. We're entirely project-based, peer-to-peer pedagogy. So what students will be doing when they're here at 42 is they will actually be working on projects. So they're actively participating in their education and working on projects that are equivalent or uh, simulate what it is they are going to be doing uh, once they leave 42 and go out into the actual job world. This is so cool. Yeah. Well, so for 42, it's named 42 after the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, right? The oh. answer to everything. Um, <laughs> of course. And, I mean, and you've gotten a lot of uh, great feedback from Evan Spiegel, from Snapchat, uh, Jack Dorsey endorsed you, um, so many others, the founder of Airbnb. Well, this uh, is a real issue for these companies because they need to, uh, highly trained uh, people who are ready to enter the workforce and work hard. And mm -hmm. so you're providing, I'm sure, was Xavier Neal, did he come from a tech background? Is that where he made his money? Uh, so, yes, he did make his money. He uh, founded a telecommunications company, which uh, provided one of the first boxes with uh, TV, internet, and oh. landline uh, services available. So his company actually in France is called Free, which is free. <laughs> uh, so he kind of disrupted this uh, industry yeah. and created uh, this three-in-one system uh, for a very low price. I'm going to send this link to Henry. He's going to be out of college with a degree in philosophy or something <laughs> in a year. And I think this would be great for at least the boot camp, right? The yeah. piscine, at least try and see. And he might find, hey, I really like programming. Exactly. And if not, what has he lost? A month of time and no money at all. Yeah. Where are you located? So we're located in Fremont, California at 6600 Dumbarton Circle. And there's a dorm. There's some free dorms as well. Free yeah. dorms? And the students just have to pay for meals. Is that correct? Yes, oh, exactly. Amazing. So we also have 300 dorm spaces which are available uh, for individuals who would like to come to 42. And then we uh, have our cafeteria staff offers a meal plan for the students as well. How many people at a time does in, in any given PC? So right now, uh, oh. we're currently waiting for construction to finish on half of the building, but we will have have 1,024 workstations available on the top floor only. 1K, exactly. exactly. That's great. <laughs> and then uh, after you, if you go through the PC and you do well, is there, are there, is there grades? What is, what is the measure of doing well? So the measure of doing well is, is the project functional? And is it, it doing what is it, is it doing what it's supposed to do? Right. So oftentimes uh, in a traditional university, we tend to procrastinate until the last minute when we have a due date. And the night before, we pull out the Red Bull, pull out the coffee, and are like, okay, let's finally get this project done. And the next morning, you turn in the project, it's horrible, and your professor is just crying late at night because she has to grade
major project and it's just not good. Uh, but here at 42, what we want is that students take the time that they need to learn a project. So this is why we don't have time barriers on the individual projects that the students need to complete. Uh, so once they do complete that, we ask that other individuals in the community are selected to then grade them. So we have peer-to-peer oh, wow. -peer learning, peer-to-peer -peer correcting. And those individuals will be looking at the subject that was given to the students, making sure that they have fulfilled all the requirements for that project, that it's functional, that they can't break the project. And it's either a pass or fail basis. And so it's not pass or fail at 50%, it's pass or fail uh, at a much higher uh, level. So we want to make sure that what these projects that individuals are turning out would be projects that it's acceptable to turn out in uh, a, a job. Well, so you have a humanities background, but there's no humanities requirement at all. <laughs> uh, do you get that, that like, you know, what do you say to turning out these developers that you, have no basic, like, humanities <laughs> um, classes in order to go out in the working world? Mm, well, I think it's, it's actually, it's wonderful that individuals who come to, into the program come from all different uh, backgrounds. We have individuals that have gone through and done humanities. We have one uh, individual, he's gone through and gotten a law degree, uh, uh -huh. others who have done philosophy. We have a PhD in philosophy in Paris, France right now, and we have others who have not completed their high school diploma, uh, who fell out of the school system and uh, found 42 as an opportunity. It so. makes sense. You're looking for people with the skills to do this professionally. Exactly. In an exactly the kind of environment that they're going to have to do it mm -hmm. professionally in. Uh, so if you pass, are you then invited to the five-year program? How does, what's next? Yes, so if you pass the PC, uh, we will invite them to the three to five-year program. So we say three to five years because the projects do not have time limits. Uh, some individuals may complete a little bit earlier, some individuals may take a little bit longer. Uh, so once they have completed the PC, they will be able to select when it is they would like to come to the three to five-year program. So they can start this year, they can start next year, they can start whenever in life is best for them. And. It's free for the three to five year program as well? Yes, it's three. It's free for the three to five year program. You and don't have to give away your firstborn child <laughs> or no. anything like that. What if you create, uh, and I imagine this is part of it, maybe Mr. Neal is interested in a product. Let's say you created Snapchat mm -hmm. at this uh, school. Would he then have rights to the product? No. Uh, students that create projects while they're at 42, all the code that they create theirs? Is, is theirs, yes. Well, I can see no reason not to do this. <laughs> I'm going to have to turn the clock back and <laughs> yeah. turn into a 30-year-old. This sounds like a really wonderful thing. Are there plans to expand beyond uh, California? Uh, so at this time, we've got our school in Paris and our school in California. Right now, we're just going to be focusing on our uh, school that's here in California, and then perhaps maybe in the future we'll look at expanding. See how it goes, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's exciting. Thank you so much for coming on. This Thank is great. You. Find out more at 42.u, what is it? 42.us.org. 42.us.org. Uh, and you can take the test and see if you're logical and then decide if maybe uh, you want to take the next step. Mm -hmm. How? It sounds scary, but it also sounds challenging and fun. Mm -hmm. It actually sounds like fun, right? It does, yeah. You make some great yeah, friends. It looks, it. seems like how a many, workplace. How many women? How diverse uh, is this? Is the class? So let me think. Uh, currently, right now, in this particular piscine, we have 19% uh, women. So that is actually quite a lot more than some of the other universities. In Paris, France, I believe we have 10%. And uh, in previous schools that I've worked at, it was anywhere from 3 to 7%. So you're making progress. And it's a blind so application program. I mean, you yes. don't know the gender. So it's really up to you. Uh, not yeah, you I, we do actually know the gender uh, beforehand, but the program is completely automated. So it doesn't necessarily check if you're a woman or a man. It just checks, did you pass or fail? It's a very binary system. <laughs> so gender neutral. Gender neutral. Uh, and and div as diverse as anybody wants to make as it. As diverse as anybody wants yeah. to make it. So oh it's up God. to the individuals who want to apply and voila. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, I'm sending a note to Henry today. <laughs> At least take the test. He'll take the test because that sounds like fun. Yeah, exactly. And uh, we can compete. I could see how he does compared, <laughs> compared to his dad. <laughs> Thank you so much. It's Thanks. so nice to meet you. Brittany Beer Thank is the you. COO of 42 USA. This is, I think it's great to see innovations in education. I'm sure you agree. Mm -hmm. This isn't the only way, but this sounds like for some people to be a great way and, and no cost that really gives opportunity to anybody. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, I think that's really great. It might be the answer to everything. <laughs> 42. The, what's the question? The life, universe, and everything. Mm -hmm. Thank, Thank you, Brittany. We really, really appreciate your time. Thank you.